Day two of the 2008 NAIA National Outdoor Track and Field Championships for the Simon Fraser University clan. In the beginning, we begin with the semifinals of the women's 400 meter dash. In heat one, Ruki Abdullahi is a missile on a mission as she cruises into the finish line to win the heat, qualifying her into the final. It's the women's 800 meter semifinal. In this race, we have Jessica Smith, Ali Hudson, and Heather Mansell. In the final straightaway, Smith has a comfortable lead to advance to the final along with teammate Hudson. Mansell narrowly misses qualifying but ran a great race. All aboard! The Mitch Cully Express has arrived! Out of the station, the Express chugs through a mountain of competitors in the 800 meter semi-final. High oil prices don't affect the Express as he runs on his own steam, giving it all he has. However, today he just misses to qualify for the final, but a great 800 meter season for the freshman. It's Ruki Abdullahi in the 4x100 meter semi-final. Taking the baton from Jane Chanel and with Brianna Kane and Cassie keeping finishing the race in second in their heat, the team advances to the final. The senior Abdullahi is back again competing in the triple jump for the first time since winning nationals as a freshman. She is national champion again today, three years later with a jump of 12.98 meters. In the 4x800 meter relay, Chad Fraser is out first. Second up is the senior Jamie Millage in his final race for the clan. Then in third spot, it's the strongest two-stroke engine in the world, Mitchell the Express Cully. In the fourth and final spot, running down the straight to finish the team in sixth place is Seth Fraser. The sixth place finish would give the team All-American status. It's time for the big race of the day. It's the women's 4x800 meter final. Out to the lead in first for SFU is Ali Hudson, who gives the baton to Heather Mansell. Mansell is so fast you can't see her, but an excellent race and an excellent pass to Kristen Kolstad. The lone senior on the team with the run of her life passes the torch to the strong but not so silent Jessica Smith. As she anchors the relay, she drops into second place. But in the final stretch, she shows that running IQ far beyond her freshman year, pulling out the comeback win to give the clan the national championship in the 4x800 meter relay. Watching everyone else was hard, um, knowing that I have to go last and um, bring it all together. But um, it was pretty exciting cheering everyone on and it was so close when I got the baton. So I really had to make sure that I did my part just like everyone else um, and run as fast as I could, knowing that uh, everything was on the line. <laughs> At the finish, I didn't have anything left, so I gave it everything I had. Um, but it was great to uh, get together and celebrate the moment. It was really exciting. I feel, personally, um, when I am running an 800 for myself, I'm, I'm running, it just doesn't seem quite complete. When I'm running for this 4x18, it just comes together. I actually, I love being a part of a team-oriented uh, event, and by far that really, um, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, because it's just, it's just something that's, it's just amazing. The Simon Fraser University clan track and field team look to continue to add to their results from day two of the NAIA National Championships as they move into day three the final day of competition. For the Clan Athletics Network, I'm Gareth Maddock-Jones.